So what you see here is a view of our basement as we were getting ready to move with everything pretty much pulled off the shelves and getting ready to either be bagged up or boxed up. Well, I guess everything wasn't off the shelves, was it? There was not just yet. not no, yet. No, <laughs> this is this is in process. So we were getting rid of things. We had people coming to pick things up. This is just where we started in order to kind of pull things out. So this took a long time and we still weren't done when we left. <laughs> right. I think we'll say more when this video is over, but we're ready to transition here from our basement to I guess kind of the finished product oh, no. of our move. <laughs> well, this is actually this is, it's not, is it? <laughs> no. This is actually going through all of the things and trying to figure out. This is just me trying to pack clothes and decide what I'm bringing with. And this was round 2. And then I have to tell you that I went through all of these bags again and pulled out almost half of that stuff still. Yeah. So, but we packed everything. We vacuum sealed it all and carried these giant rolling duffel bags that were 120 liters. So thank goodness for those things. So I think there's a few other things we would say on this now, looking back on this, the, the garage, not the garage, the basement. I intended to go back through after it was all cleaned up and we had gotten everything out of there, but there were two things. One, we ran out of time. And two, there was still stuff in the basement when we moved. And thank goodness for Dave and Amy and Becky helping us to go in. They, they removed the treadmill after the fact, after we had gone. And it just is very eye-opening how much stuff you accumulate because that was just the basement. We also had the garage that looked a lot like that. And then I don't know, kitchen cabinets and just stuff. It was, it was a big process. So I really feel like now looking back, we should have started like a month earlier, very seriously going through things. And of course that would have been ideal because we would have had very little left, but that didn't happen. So thank you. And we look forward to seeing you all in Portugal. Let us know when you want to come and we'll get you your tickets. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I would say more than that, I realized we brought a lot of stuff, but we did pretty good about only bringing stuff that meant something that we loved or that was sen sentimental. And when we talked about we moved in two suitcases each, those bags that you saw in that the last segment there are what the suitcases were. So, well, one, um, so we had that and then we had large rolling suitcases that we also had some of the smaller like carry on suitcases, sometimes packed inside. We had all of the sound equipment and the um, video game consoles and all of those things packed inside those types of suitcases within suitcases to keep them all kind of contained and protected. Um, but are there things that I miss? Um, yes, but none of them would actually be working here. So right. I think that quite frankly, we could have gotten rid of more stuff. I think we probably could have. And I think Tracy mentioned it when we were talking through those videos, but and you could see the vacuum bags, the vacuum oh, thing that we had was pretty cool. You know, I'm, when you vacuum seal things, it just makes a huge difference. And so um, I am grateful that we don't have all of that stuff now. I mean, we keep accumulating things, but not at that same level, so.